kids. Let me try and zoom in and say that you yourself have your own needs so that you can understand. Let me not just generalize it and then we pray. Within you, when you watch television, as you are watching it, there are weeds being thrown at you. You will laugh along with it, but inside your spirit will alarm and say you are laughing. You are laughing at death. When you see people laughing, but there are weeds being thrown then a situation will come one day that will raise the weeds that are in you and you will be surprised and be surprised I, like this, I didn't know that I was like this. And the weeds will rise within you. Jesus once told Peter, you Peter years, as you've been with no me years, you have weeds within you. And he said, no, that is not real. And he said, you will see the weeds You will deny me three times. And Peter said, I will never, Jesus. I will never deny you. Wherever you die, I will die. Where you are imprisoned, I will be imprisoned. But because Jesus does not argue with fools, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say it that way, but it's the truth. You can't as a leader, someone who knows you better and you argue with them, that's a fool. A wise person would say, it's all right, help me, Lord. Help me to not deny you and not deny that you will deny them. Say, help me, Lord, that I will deny you. Stop it arguing with the, the leader. Even when you dream your dreams, and you wake up saying in the yes, morning, the I'm you know what you're saying? Say, Lord, help me so that this will not become no, a no, no, no. Because you've seen yourself slip. You know you don't have the power. But now, you're using the power while you are getting up from the ground. So, you have to say, Lord, help me. I don't want this to become a reality. But if it is your will. I said, there are certain things. I'm trying to get the vocabulary to explain them to you. Because right now, we don't just want to see your emotions in the church. We want to transform your mind. Even if you don't have the opportunities to go and preach, today, tomorrow, I might not be able to preach anymore. But there is something that I would have planted or stoned in you. And it's in you. It's a good thing that we're not just planting it in you, but also in social media. If you didn't hear me clearly, you can go back home and listen again. Enter into YouTube and listen again. Those have come to train you. Don't think as I'm preaching all the time that I want to do it all the time. It is a job. I have to release this thing that has been placed in me and I need to release it unto you. I also want to be able to sit like you and listen. That I also want to sit and listen to whoever speaking. God But now He said, Feed my my lands. Lands. My lands. So I'm responsible because I will answer one day. That I came, that the lambs came hungry. What did I do? Do you hear me, brethren? Yes. So, so Peter's been told nicely and plainly that you will deny there are, there are weeds in your body. Peter said, never. I will never I am a believer. To see the way that I'm dressed, I am a believer. And what happened there? The situation came that revealed the weeds. And the suspenseful music started playing. But you are now Jesus. And he said, you are the Jesus. And he said, I do not know that Leave me alone. And he went away. 
Then another came up to him and said, He said, You look like him. You're dressed like him. You are one of his disciples. He has another one. And he said, I don't know that person. And he ran away. He's now forgotten that he denied Jesus, saying that he will deny him. He was, it was said that you will deny him three times. He started to warm himself on the fire. Then now a lady came this time. That's you. And he said, when? You. When? You. When? When? You. When? You. You were with Jesus. You are just like him. You speak like him. You are from Galilee. He said, I don't know that person. He said, and she said, no, I don't know you. He said, my eyes by your Jesus. You were leading the procession. And, she, and he insulted her with such a big swivel. And the weeds were revealed. And they came up. And the weeds revealed themselves. And when they revealed themselves, I think it was, And at that moment, they looked, locked eyes with Jesus. And he remembered that I'm so wicked, I denied Jesus. And he wept. He didn't weep, weep before people that know him. He cried in the corner in front of the people that accused him that he was with Jesus. And he said, I'm sorry, Jesus. I have weeds within me. Remove these weeds from me. And that's the day that it was removed. And when the weeds were removed, and it also removed the sword that he was always carrying. I'd rather use the, the sword to, to cut off the head of the son of the priest. Do you remember? How do you cut someone's ear off? All of that is weeds. Do you hear what I'm saying? He saw that you see there is Do you hear this? I'm living by the mercy of this man. He remembered that this man once said, he said while he was praying for me, he said, I'm still going to fall. And he said, once I'm falling, and once I get back up, I must strengthen my brothers. How? Is there so much oh, Jesus, to Jesus knows that you're going to fall. Please walk with the mentality that you're still going to fall. That attitude will help you to be able to get back up. But now you, you say that you are full of the Lord. You are full of the Lord. So once you fall, God doesn't fall. That's why it's going to be hard for you to rise back up. Because you are prophesying, saying that I am the That has been given to you for a moment to prophesy. For you to reveal your message. You are not God yourself. You are the child of God. Don't now puff yourself up saying that you are, you are God who eats bread and eggs. Remember that you are a human being. Because what injures us that we fall and we're not allowed to be able to get up is that thing that we perceive ourselves better than others. There are weeds within you. Paul says that there is a law that is in my body that against the law in my mind. Even though I know what is good, but there is evil that rises up in me. Now, Peter, when they were coming to accost Jesus, the weeds rise within him. And he draws his sword. And he says, whoever comes near me is death. Come near me. The weeds were revealed. And he cut off the ear. Do you know what Jesus said? He said, you see? Put your sword aside. Before he even said that, 
Imagine removing someone's ear. Getting angry at someone. And the one that you are protecting will pick up the ear that you have removed because you wanted to remove the other ear. But he will pick up the one that you have removed and place it back. I don't know if you hear this. He will return it to in its the place, same time. and it will stick at the same time. Not that you must hold it in place for 30 minutes, and then it will be stuck. Not that you must hold it in place for 30 minutes, and then it will be stuck. The Son of God is really in marvel. He will play, replace the ear, and then he'll turn around and look at the ear and say, Peter, those who kill on the sword will die through the sword. Whoever, whoever draws a sword will be killed by the sword. Put your sword aside. And he said, you? You've come to me. Leave these people. But take me. He's able to still command people even now. Jesus is the real king. He really is king. I want that attitude. But I know how you get it. I know how you get it. Can I tell you how you get it? This is how you get it. Knowing that the time of your temptation has come. And they know that as your time of temptation has come, you do not have power over it. Do you hear me? You do not have power over it. Because Peter he was told that he would deny Jesus three times, but he continued to refuse him. And remember when he denied him, that at the initial he denied that he would deny Jesus. He had denied that he would deny Jesus. And he still denied him because he does not have the power not to deny Jesus. When Jesus had said that he would deny him, he, he should have said yes to Jesus. I will deny you, but please help me to deny you. He's trusting in his own strength. When you are able to do so, say yes, God, God I will go for it. But save me, so that I will not enter into temptation. Again, he is not the one who is able to do it. What you are saying is that he is not able to do it. But deliver us from evil. And then when we wake up, we say in the name of Jesus, we destroy and destroy. And it will still happen even though you've done it. You need to ask for him and say, let this cup pass without me drinking from it. But let it not be my will. Yes, yes, there are certain things that we have been taught that we must have faith. But we've taught an incomplete faith that have faith. There's a, there's a place to use faith where the will of God is. When the will of God is entering here, and you say through faith I'm not entering in here. Can I repeat that? We've taught you faith that you'll say to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the ocean. But God says, but the will of God says, says you are entering into the ocean. It says, Jesus, you are going to the past. It says, Peter, you are denying me. But you will say, in your faith, the mountain be thrown up and be lifted up and be lifted up. There is no such an effort against me shall prosper. But the will of God says, enter here. Yeah. Now it will be evident your, your faith and God's will, which will win between the two. <laughs> yes, Do you hear what I'm saying? Because there is your faith, and then there is the will of God, which is God's heart. How do you know that I must say to this mountain, it must be picked up and thrown into the ocean? Or I must climb on this mountain? Peace be with you. So, so I'm trying to equip you and equip you for the time that we are in. Let me enter into this matter because you've already put me there. You see, there are certain situations 
that allow you to go oh, through them fundis. so that they can teach you they and leave a stamp on you oh, yes, that you remember forever oh, yes, that this is where I once went through. Do you hear that? It brands you with a stamp that says, I have been through this. Just look at Lazarus. He's the friend of Jesus. He is ill. And he's dying. They sent for Jesus. Mary. Mary and Martha they said Jesus he is ill and the message got to Jesus quickly and Jesus said okay we'll go and heal him then another message came and they said no he's getting worse now he is dying now Jesus said, because you are nagging me, this, his illness is to glorify Jesus, we will raise him. They're trying to tell him that he's going to die they're thinking, they're thinking that he's a sinner. But Lazarus' illness is not that which leads him to death, but it is going to glorify God. What do you mean? Jesus? Jesus? Still you Please go and heal him. Jesus? And Jesus says, no. I want him to die. <laughs> do you hear this matter of Jesus? <laughs> he says, come. They say, come and heal him. Mary is but crying. But the people saying, Jesus, come and heal him. And Jesus will delay on purpose. A delay he will delay on purpose they'll pray they'll send messages and the messages will be received but the message returning says I am coming I'm coming even if he dies I want him to die I'll delay until he dies there's a time when God wants when, delay, when God delays so that you can die and you can lose all hope until you say Lord let you will be done and when he is that that's when you'll find him then he comes this, this is my thought I think Jesus delayed the whole week they kept sending him messages saying that Lazarus yeah, no is ill. And when did he come? He doesn't even come on the funeral. He comes four days after he was buried. What is that? Why didn't you heal him, Jesus? Because I wanted him to die. And please hear me clearly in every situation ask for his will in every situation you go through seek his will if the Lord gives me an opportunity I will teach you how you know what his will is when you're entering into the situation or whether you're in the situation or whether you have passed out of the situation do you hear this? Lazarus, four days have gone by. Then he says, let's go. Let's go and raise Lazarus. And they'll say, will he re be raised? But he's already dying. On the way, it was evident that Jesus was on the way. Then Mary runs. And he says, she says, Lord, Lord, if you were here, our brother would not have died. Do you hear this? Lord, if you were here, our brother would not have died. Where did you place him? I will show you. Our brother would not have died. It's been four days now. He now smells. It's been four days. He now smells. But Marie, he said, Mary, I said, when you believe, you will see the glory. I've come to reveal the glory. 
When he has rotten, that's where you'll see the glory. You won't just see a miracle, you will see the glory. Where did you place him? He said, here's where we have placed him to rest. Remove the tombstone. Remove the tombstone. And it was removed. Then he started to bubble up. And as he was bubbling, he wasn't excited there was a miracle that was going to happen. <laughs> I want to give you a few small important details. He's crying tears. He said a very bitter prayer. He says, Father, glorify your son. Just imagine that. <laughs> who delayed? He's the one who delayed. delayed. He's the one who delayed to not come so that or Lazarus appeal. Can be healed. He waited for Lazarus to die. And now when he arrives, now he's come to say, Father, glorify your son. How? You have been delaying on purpose. Now you want to be glorified. I don't know if you hear that. He delayed on purpose. And he still needs to be glorified. The son of God. It was evident that they had an agreement with the Lord that he would be glorified. Can I tell you, you see, if you're going to listen very clearly to the Holy Spirit and walk with him, God will be glorified. Through the situation that we think they have lost their time. He says, Father, glorify your son. What does the father say? He spoke in public. He said, son, I have glorified your name and I will glorify it again. People were looking around saying that it was thundering. But there's something that was about to happen through the death of Lazarus. God will plan to glorify his name through you without telling you. Can I repeat that? I won't repeat it because you've heard me. He will plan everything and agree with the that has affected you so that it can enter into you and end your life. And once it has ended you and it has destroyed you and you've also cried. remember that he is God. He said, remember that God is in heaven and you are on earth. When you make an agreement, please remember that God is in heaven and you are on earth. What are you doing? Don't take it lightly when you make covenants. There's a man that made a covenant and he was happy. He said, God, have you given me victory? He give me victory. Whatever I'm going to, everything I come across will become a sacrifice for you. And other brethren, they use their faith and situations to sacrifice their lives. He'll say, God, if you give me this money, I will return it all to you. Remember that you're a person. Say, at least, Lord, I will give you half. Because when money comes, it reveals the weeds. Don't say you'll give it all to you when you still fail to be generous. Now. Measure yourself and how much you will keep to yourself. You need to know how you are. 
I want to help you. Because the time that we are in, when success comes, it comes even in the even in the It's going to come even when it's in the stage. It's going to come even when it's in the stage. It's going to come even when you're in the stage. It's time for the success. It's going to come even when you're in the stage. You haven't so we because it is God the watcher. It has been My so God Be careful what you promise. Don't think that you're going to twist God's arm by promising Him things. No, 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 no. So we catch a verse. No, it is not. So we just put me there. It's catch a verse. So tell him shaba nezaki. It's catch a verse. Obuta ma business etu akume. It's catch a verse. Obuta ma career etu aflarish. It's catch a verse. So put me there like wait. It's catch a verse. So go by in talk. It's catch a verse. So go by na pezu. God did not tell me so. Careful what you promise. Don't say that you keep like everything. He'll give you a hundred million. And the whole world will not give you a hundred million. And you said you were going to give it all to God. And then you will remain a centenaire again. What will you say to your relatives? Careful, believers, what you say. Remember that this flesh, there are weeds within it. At least half, say at least half, Lord. I'm helping you. This is weeds. Weeds. This is what weeds are. So this is the time of prosperity. The church is the church. The devil likes to the the church to rise and fly high like an eagle and walk like a lion.